the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 250, Ezekiel 23-24 Parable of the Port Samaria and Jerusalem, which were saturated with evil, did not hear God's exhortation and persuasion, and so were destroyed by Assyria and Babylon. First point. Through the metaphor of the two sisters, Ohola and Oholiba, God pointed out how Israel had relied on other empires and foreign idols rather than God. God spoke to Ezekiel through the metaphor of the sisters, Ohola and Oholiba. These two sisters were symbolized as God's wives. Ohola symbolized Samaria, and Oholiba symbolized Jerusalem. God first spoke of Samaria through Ohola. God explained how North Israel worshipped the idols of Egypt and Assyria. In other words, with Jeroboam, the people started to commit all sorts of sins. As such, North Israel worshipped so many idols that they eventually fell in the hands of Assyria. Next, God spoke of Jerusalem through Oholiba. South Judah went directly in the way of North Israel by worshipping all the foreign idols. They worshipped the Assyrian idols. The person to rely and worship Assyria the most was King Ahaz. They also worshipped Babylonian idols and then Egyptian idols. When South Judah was young, they relied on Egypt, but they went too far as to worship the Egyptian idols. Second point, God pointed out that South Judah followed in the ways of North Israel, which collapsed. God spoke of how South Judah was to be punished. As explained previously in the book of Kings, Jerusalem was to fall in the hands of Babylon. God declared that through their fall, they would no longer be able to worship foreign idols. Your rudeness and promiscuity have brought this on you. Because you lusted after the nations and defied yourself with their idols, you have gone the way of your sister, so I will put her cup into your hands. God went on to outline the fortress of Jerusalem and Samaria, the sins of North Israel and South Judah, especially regarding the Jerusalem temple and Sabbath, were emphasized. The first of their sin was that they made sacrifices to idols. The second was that they did wrong during Sabbath and also made the temple an unclean place. Third, they offered God's incense to foreign gods and also used it for other activities. Fourth, they followed in the evil ways of their surrounding countries. Thus, South Judah, much like North Israel, could not escape their punishment. Third point, when Babylon attacked South Judah for the third time, God made Ezekiel carry out the performance of Jerusalem at the cooking port. Son of Man recorded this date, this very date, because the king of Babylon has laid siege to Jerusalem this very day. Tell these rebellious people a parable and say to them, this is what the sovereign Lord says, put on the cooking pot, put it on and pour water into it. Eighteen months from this day, Jerusalem was to fall. God told Ezekiel to carry out the symbolic performance of Jerusalem as a cooking pot. The first thing God told Ezekiel to do was to put the cooking pot over the fire. The lost pot was a reference to Jerusalem, and the meat inside symbolized the people of South Judah. The fire symbolized Babylon, which was to be used as God's tool. God intended to burn down Jerusalem. Next, God commanded Ezekiel to set the empty pot on the coals until it became hot and the copper glowed. This was God burning down lust until it disappeared. 
God then told Ezekiel to burn down the disgusting idol worship. Fourth point, God made his prophets at the time carry out symbolic performances and to use metaphors in order to make the people understand. The symbols used by the prophets in the Bible were the best expressions of the circumstances and the God's messages of the time. The prophets used various symbolic acts and measures. To look at a few, Isaiah performed the symbolic act of bare body and bare feet, which was a means to make South Judah stop relying on Egypt and Cush. Jeremiah did the performance of the rope and the yoke, which symbolized that the people were to take on the yoke and to surrender to Babylon. As for Ezekiel, he did the symbolic act of the cooking pot, which symbolized the purification of the people's sins. If the lost was not burned down, then it would not be able to disappear. Thus, a thorough purification was needed in order to restore the descendants of Abraham who did not keep their covenant with God for the past 900 years, God decided to purify them. Even if the most fresh and clean ingredients are used, if the cooking pot is dirty, then the outcome cannot be great. As such, God had plans to purify the core of Jerusalem and to re-establish the descendants of Abraham as a holy citizens in a kingdom of priests. Seventy years was needed for this task. Fifth point, God told Ezekiel not to cry over or lament over his wife's death, but to quietly grieve. God spoke of South Judah's fall through the death of Ezekiel's wife. This symbolized how Jerusalem would suddenly fall. For this, God took away Ezekiel's wife, who provided him with joy. God told him not to be sad or to lament. For Ezekiel, this was indeed a heartbreaking incident. Through the death of his wife, Ezekiel was able to further feel the pain of the fall of South Judah, which was soon to happen. He was moreover able to realize the sadness of God. The reason God gave Ezekiel such sadness was in order for him to realize God's pain and heartache deeper. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought-after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting-edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.